Hi everyone, I'm Kiko from Polka World. With more and more parachains launching on Polkadot and XCM enabling parachain to parachain communication, a new era for blockchain is here. Today, we will analogy to the development of internet technology to understand how Polkadot is going to be the game changer for blockchain. Bitcoin has brought us a blockchain based decentralized cryptocurrency, and Ethereum has introduced a smart contract platform, giving birth to a primary application when the real blockchain sell like Uniswap. So what's the next generation of blockchain applications? To answer this question, we're trying to find some traces from the development history of computer applications to predict the development of blockchain applications and try to explain why we're optimistic about Polkadot technology. Bitcoin era, application of cryptocurrency. In 1946, the United States manufactured the first general purpose computer, ENIAC, which opened the modern computer era. However, the types of calculations the bulky ENIAC computer can perform were very limited, and its application was limited to the calculations. Bitcoin was officially born in 2009, creating the blockchain industry, and its historical significance is equivalent to ENIAC in the computer world. However, similar to ENIAC, Bitcoin can only perform very limited operations such as transfers, and its applications are basically limited to cryptocurrency transfers such as wallets, exchanges, lending, etc. Single Chain Era Ethereum Smart Contract Applications On April 3, 1973, the first truly mobile phone, Motorola Zeta Tech 8000X, appeared on the streets of New York. After that, although the size of mobile phones continued to shrink, from the Big Brother to the slide, flip, and color screen phones, there was no essential breakthrough. Some simple applications have also begun to appear on these phones, such as the familiar game Tetris. However, due to the limitations of the underlying hardware, system, and network, these applications are relatively simple, and they are all standalone applications that cannot be connected to other mobile phones. So the imaginary space is very limited. In 2015, the Ethereum mainnet went to life, opening the era of smart contracts. Developers can now build some smart contract applications on Ethereum, such as the decentralized AMM exchange application Uniswap. But at this time, we are still in the awkward era. Similar to the dilemma of standalone mobile phone applications, applications at this time also have large limitations. The customizability and performance of Ethereum smart contracts are poor, and resources are tight and expensive. As a single chain, the applications on Ethereum cannot interact friendly with Bitcoin and other blockchains. The applications built on the single chain are just like PHS in the standalone era, with limited resources and fixed underlying ideas. No matter how innovative the application is, it still has a lot of limitations. Although stablecoin applications like DAI and DEX applications like Uniswap have appeared on Ethereum, these are only the beginning of blockchain applications. Just like in the history of computer applications, Tetris was just the beginning. Multi-chain era, more complex and real innovative applications born on Polkadot. In 2007, the iPhone turned out to be the first real smartphone in history. The iOS System 2 marked a brand new way of interaction and interconnection. Its appearance led to the explosion of mobile applications, such as Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. Applications from all walks of life have been born one after another, and it even came into new industries and new business models. In 2020, the Polkadot mainnet was launched, marking the beginning of the multi-chain era. After the implementation of parachain, multiple parachains are interconnected under the umbrella of the relay chain to form Polkadot network. With the XCM and HRMP, parachains can interact smoothly, just like smartphones can interact with each other. With the breakthrough of Polkadot technology, such as better TPAs and more friendly chain interaction, a large number of innovative products and innovative business models were sprouting, just as when the smartphone was first born. Nowadays, there are many developers and teams developing blockchain applications, and most of them 
can't escape from the limitations of the underlying framework, Ethereum. Just like being limited by the Motorola era, you can only stay in the innovation of dual SIM cards, sliding covers, etc. Blockchain applications are facing exactly the same limitations now. Staying in simple DeFi fields such as lending and DAX, but we must know that these applications are actually still in the previous generation of the single chain era. We cannot use the mindset of the single chain era to imagine the rich applications of the multi chain era. Just as we can't use the logic of Tetris in the single machine era to imagine the diverse applications of the internet era. Summary Multi chain decentralized applications are about to explode. The single chain structure has extremely low performance and expensive resources, making it impossible to grow complex applications. Polkadot's multi chain model can not only solve the shortcomings of the single chain model, but also create a greater possibility for future Web3 applications. The multi chain model can make parachains coordinate with each other so that multi chain decentralized Web3 applications can come. Massive and diverse applications will be born in the Polkadot ecosystem. Just like various applications that are now growing out of our mobile phones and PCs, Polkadot's multi chain structure is equivalent to the basic protocol of the local area network and the internet on the computer. And the substrate blockchain framework is also very similar to Linux. In the traditional internet, only when Linux can there be Android system and Android based mobile phones. In the same way, in the blockchain space, when substrates, there will be excellent blockchain innovative products. As Dr. Gavin Wood said, unlike running applications on smart contracts, which are relatively small pieces of code running on the Ethereum blockchain, Polkadot allows each application developer to create their own blockchain. We will see many different innovative products that are impossible to exist in a smart contract environment. So why are we optimistic about Polkadot? We believe that Polkadot is a basic framework protocol in Web3. Polkadot is the best blockchain framework for building a full set of commercial infrastructure. Substrate is a tool for developing Web3 applications and products. Hope you enjoyed this video. If it's helpful to you, please thumb up and subscribe to our channel to learn more about Web3 and Polkadot. See you next time.